An open top box is made by cutting a square x centimeters from each corner of a 10 centimeter by 12 centimeter piece of paper. What is the maximum volume of a box that can be made and the corresponding size of x? Okay, so this is like another problem. So first we really got to draw a diagram. So here is my piece of paper, which is 10 by 12. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut out a x by x uh, from each corner. Okay, and what we've got to do is find the size of x so that this makes a maximum volume. Just so you can actually see what we're actually trying to do here. I've got this GeoGebra app, and again, I'll put the GeoGebra app link in the notes of the video. So here we have our box piece of paper. This is ten. This is twelve. This is by ten. Okay. If I I can change the size. Look, I can change the size of x and get different size of box. So somewhere along the line, I will get. If I do the match, we'll see the sort of that bit has been cut out. So the four these four corners are being discarded. and I am making a box there so I've got to find somewhere along the line I will get the maximum uh, volume I'll come back to this look at this in a minute so this length here is 12 this length here is 10 I'm going to cut out the value of X what will be this length pause the video for a moment and see if you can think for yourself so if this is 12 and this is x and this has to be x well, so this is going to be 12 minus 2x. Similarly, if this is uh, if this is 10, this length here is going to be, and this length here is x, this length here is x, this is going to be 10 minus 2x. Okay, so now I've got to make an expression for the volume of a box. Now the volume of a box is the length, times the width times the height or in any order so the height of this box is going to be x this, this height here will be whatever x is okay this length here will be 10 minus 2x so we have to do x times brackets 10 minus 2x okay and then this length here is 12 minus 2x now if we weren't going to use the graph method of doing this then we would have to expand these uh, brackets and use what's known as a little bit of calculus, which we'll do later on in the course. However, at the moment, we're just going to do it by looking at a graph. So using technology to draw a graph, and these graphs I draw uh, drew using GeoGebra. Now, I only need to draw the graph between 0 and 5, because if we go back to the GeoGebra app, okay, the if I make uh, a 5, I don't really get a box. You can see I don't really get a box. I don't need to make it 5. And obviously, it's not going to be less than 0 because it would just be the same size as a piece of paper. So my volume is going to be somewhere there. So if I graph this function here against x, so the vertical axis here stands for volume, then I can find the maximum point, which is going to be this particular point here. And if I click, I can actually see this point and you on your graph should obviously drop a line. OK, so I've got the technology to get it to that accuracy. So that's 1.81 and this is 90, gives a volume of 96.8 meters cubed. So if I set this at 1.81, let's do that. I have to use the arrow key. Okay, this is the point where I get the maximum uh, volume of the box if I cut a square out of a 10 by 12 centimeter piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going back to this. This is my graph. This is my graph drawing in, annotating it, putting in the uh, value of x that I get and the maximum volume, which is 96.8 to three centimeter figures. So using the graph, maximum uh, volume will be 96.8 meters cubed and a square of 1.81 centimeters needs to be cut out of each corner. Okay, so just go again, look back at the GeoGebra applet, see the GeoGebra applet here. If 
for yourself. Okay, if you want to see it in 3D, you can do. You uh, click this one and click the glasses and then put them on. You'll be able to see it in the, that particular bit in 3D. You need red cyan glasses in order to do that. Okay, so just going back to that. This gives me the uh, box, okay? And you, interesting, it, this here will actually just show that the paper comes up to give you the open-ended box, okay? So this has been a video to show you how to uh, find the maximum volume of a box cutting out a square from each corner. The box is open-topped, i.e. does not have a top, or the, does it have a top. I hope you sort of understood and the GeoGebra app will be in the notes of the video. Thank you very much for watching.